Hey, how's it going guys? Jay-Z here. It's been a long time since I made a progress video and I want to share with you guys what I've done in the past two months. Throughout this video, I'm going to keep in mind that everyone watching probably doesn't play this game and are subscribed for my league content. So I'll try my best to explain everything in as much detail as possible. Also, I'll be making plenty of league content so you have nothing to worry about. Anyways, sit back, grab a snack and enjoy the little story I have to share with you. I used to play this game back when I was 9 years old. Nostalgia is really what gets me back into this game. If you're also looking to start playing RuneScape, I would not advise it unless you're following guides on YouTube because this game is not beginner friendly. Long story short, I created this account around July in 2017 and played for 5 months before quitting this game in favour of grinding out Challenger in League of Legends and making YouTube content. Fast forward an entire year later, just recently I got back into the game and spent the last 2 months accomplishing a crazy ton of progress which I'm very excited to share with you guys here in this video. If you haven't already, I recommend checking out my most recent progress video which I made back in 2017, just to get an idea of everything that I went through leading up to this episode. Link is in the description. These progress videos are far and few in between, so each one is jam-packed full of months and months of progress that literally gets condensed down into a matter of seconds for your viewing pleasure. Here's a quick recap of 2017. I made this account, did all the free-to-play quests within a few days. Not long after that, I bought myself membership to unlock the rest of the game. Did a bunch of members-only questing while training all combat stats up at Sandcrabs. For those that don't know, Sandcrabs is a monster with very high hit points and little to no attack, so you could just AFK and gain combat levels because they were aggressive and your character can just auto retaliate. After getting my combat stats to 70, a bunch of you guys took me on a journey. We went into God Wars Dungeon, did a few bossing trips where I died a bunch of times in the silliest ways possible. In the end, it was really good fun and I learned quite a lot of things about the game. Towards the end of my time in 2017, I completed these quests and achieved these stats. At the time I actually thought I was on top of the world, I defeated Jad and got myself a fire cape. For those that don't know, the fire cape was once very highly regarded and best in slot. It was a big status symbol and an achievement. What made the fire cape difficult to obtain was because you had to fight through 63 waves of high level monsters by yourself, with the final boss being able to one shot you if you made one wrong prey switch. So having stable internet was very important. The entire 63 waves took about an hour and dying meant resupplying and starting over at wave 1. To put things into perspective, getting a fire cape at low levels can be somewhat comparable to achieving gold elo in League of Legends. The honest truth is, I never plan to actually make another old school RuneScape video past the last one, so just a heads up, this video might become a slideshow very soon. So fast forward to November 2018, just after RuneScape Mobile came out, I decided to revisit this game. Picking up from where I left off, I completed huge milestone quest goals like Monkey Madness and Dragon Slayer 2. These quests in particular have a bunch of prerequisite like quest and level requirements that are quite steep, so normally it takes weeks of skilling and questing before being able to start these. Monkey Madness 2 unlocks the best mage and ranged training spot in the game and Dragon Slayer 2 unlocks Volkath, which is one of the best money making solo bosses in the game. Not long after completing these quests, I got my hands on the quest cape for completing every single quest this game has to offer. I then moved on to completing all the easy, medium and hard achievement diaries for each region of the RuneScape map. The purpose of questing and diaries in this game is to unlock new areas, various perks, skills and armor and general content in this game. Essentially, I was completing my character. An example of a perk you receive from completing a diary would be the Kandran Hard Diary which gives you more range damage by increasing your special attack procs on enchanted crossbow bolts. Another example would be the Western Province's Hard Diary which unlocks the Elite Void Knight armor. These are essentially entry level requirements needed in order to start taking on the toughest PVM content this game has to offer. So essentially if you want to progress your character and experience everything this game has to offer, be sure to finish all the quests and diary tasks. After unlocking all of that, I was almost ready to take on the Inferno and Theater of Blood. To clarify, these are names of the two hardest pieces of content this game has to offer and only the most elite players of this game has completed them. The Inferno is essentially Fire Cape 2.0 but much, much harder, or the equivalent of reaching Diamond Elo in League of Legends, with only a small percentage of people having achieved this goal so far. These are the goals that I plan to complete in the very near future. But before I can progress further, I needed to get some basics out of the way. I got my construction up to 82 for the Occult Altar, Jewelry Box and Ornate Pool. This gives me really quick access to healing, spellbook, swapping and banking. I then trained up my prayer to 78 for the most optimal amount of prayer return per potion sip while unlocking both rigor and augury, unlocking the two best combat boosting prayers for range and mage respectively. This also increases my odds of being accepted into high level raiding groups for future theater of blood runs. Throughout all of my progress you guys have been taking me on different bosses and I've had an amazing time. We even managed to get 4 spear drops from the Zami boss in God Wars dungeon all under my name in only 32 kills. The prices on these spears have spiked to ridiculously high prices, so this really helps out. After some time, I was ready to tackle my very first raid, Chambers of Zeric. I was guided and shown every step of the way by Iron Carrion who offered to take me under his wing and I learned so much, 
while raiding for my very first time. He was even generous enough to supply me with materials to get my herbal level up to 78 so that I could make my own potions during raids. After a few runs, I was getting the hang of things. We had a couple of deck scroll drops and I even got an ancestral hat under my name. I've been raiding quite a bit with Iron Carrion, so the least I can do is show my gratitude. If you're keen, he does stream our raid from time to time on Twitch.tv. I've included his stream link in the description box if you'd like to check him out. Lately, I've been busy grinding out Slayer training while getting my combat stats a little higher. It's crazy how it's so easy to defeat Jad a second, third, and even a fourth time to get fire capes just back to back after a year of not playing. The fight caves is actually really good slayer experience if you're looking to train up some slayer levels. My immediate goals right now is to get 94 magic in order to unlock Ice Burst, and the reason for that is I want to start attempting the Inferno, and this is the setup that I plan to run with. A crossbow, blessed dragonhide armor, arams, and a code I wand. I'm also thinking about buying a blessed spirit shield for the extra defense, so things are still subject to change from what you see on screen. Just today, I reached 99 range while doing 4 cat. But leading up to that, I was chinning in the Monkey Madness 2 caves for about 400 to 500,000 experience per hour, which is an insane amount. Just to put things into perspective, you'd normally get about 40 to 80k range experience by normally fighting monsters. So that about sums up all of my progress in just a few minutes. I probably missed a bunch of things, but that is to be expected when I'm trying to recall everything off the top of my head. Anyways, if you'd like to hang out with me, perhaps do raids together, teach me Theater of Blood, the Inferno, or if you simply just want to chat then be sure to join my clan chat. Everyone here is chill and plays League of Legends, so you would already have something in common. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like to let me know if you did, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.